I want to start a game. Alex showed me or showed me he told me about this game called the seventh stand so basically it is a jojo game that looks like pokemon which i'm super excited for and um on top of that you get you do a personality test and you get a stand okay let's do this let's uh let's find out who our jojo stand is i don't remember the controls to be honest yeah, so this game is a... It's a fan-made game. So it's not in like an official game or anything. It feels very Game Boy, doesn't it? It, it does. It's so cool. It's Speedwagon. Okay, this game takes place during the events of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. That's perfect. JoJo... Or Jotaro's here. In it, you join the Joe Stars on their quest as a seventh adventurer handpicked by fate. After going through the personal... Or the personality analysts and... and Analysis, so I can speak English. You'll be cast as one of the 18 original characters created just for this game. Next, the game controls. Okay, we got enter space or Z. That's easy enough. Okay, let's start this bad boy. Let's start this game. By the way, it looks like it's your first time playing, but what difficulty like would you like? I'm gonna do easy because I'm a coward. That's why. <laughs> let's see our personality test. I'm so excited. It seems that... A new destiny is beginning. That would, um... That would be your destiny, you nameless one... You nameless one, apostle of fate. Uh, you are about to walk a path full of pain and suffering. Dang! Okay, I guess. Alright, someone's gotta do it, I guess. However, it is necessary that you continue to fight. Man, maybe this is the exact words I need to hear right now, to be honest. After feeling so bummed out, these are the words I need to be hearing. Please accept this small offering, your very own stand. I hope you use it well. Oh, heck yes, I will. If I don't get a cute pink stand, I'm gonna be so sad. Welcome to my humble shop. Abdul. Oh my gosh, I love Abdul. Mohammed Abdul. Oh my gosh. Salam alaikum, my friend. I detect the capability, or I detect the capability to will the stand win within you. If you answer a few easy questions for me, I will be able to determine your stand's power. Sometimes this gets a little long, but the more questions you answer, the more potent ab your abilities will be. First off, picture yourself in everyday surroundings. Where are you standing? Think not about the small details, but where your position in relation to others. Okay, where am I standing if I'm in a big group of others? I'm off in my own place. I'm probably petting their dog in the corner, looking at my phone, playing a Game Boy. Sometimes even asking if I can play their Xbox. <laughs> I'm minding my own business. I see. This next question is about your worldview. Do you think it's best to give people the benefit of the doubt? Or is your trust something to be earned? Oh, benefit of the doubt. Wait. Uh, I trust them from the start. Your boyfriend or girlfriend has left their phone behind at your house. Do you check their messages? Nah. Um, do you think that at the end... Wait, do you think the end justifies the means? The end justifies the means. I'm not entirely sure how to comprehend this question. You can do something bad if it has good results. Oh! Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That's what it means. Alright. So, like, you do something bad if it gets... No, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather just do something good and... And, like... Yeah, do something good. Or at least that I perceive as good for my moral values. And then... If I don't... Like, succeed... Then that just sucks. Then it just is what it is. So you do you think the ends justify the means? No? No. Did the game just freeze? Oh, there we go. No. You're at a party and spot someone drinking by the window on their own. You seem they seem lonely. Do you try and make a conversation? Yes. Um, especially if they look sad. I will be like, oh, how's your day? Even if it's awkward. Even if it's super awkward, I'll be like, oh, weather we're having, aren't we? We do be having weather right now. 
<laughs> the weather do be happening at this moment. How's your day? How's your weather? Do you have trouble with social obligations? Okay, I need your guys' help. What does that mean? Do I have trouble with social obligations? Keeping up with hanging out with friends. Ah. Okay, okay. I was taking it as different. So this basically means like checking up on your friends and like meeting up with them. Yeah, I, I'm pretty good at that. I ask my friend Yunji all the time. Like, I'm like, hey, let's go to the cafe and let's chat. And let's have some really fun, like, let's have scones and cakes. It's weird, because I'm good and I'm bad. Like, I'm good at, yeah, I'll just say yes. I think I'm, I think I'm fairly good at it. Like, I'll message Illa and be like, I miss you, I love you, I want to see you again. And then she's like, my best friend. And then maybe she'll be like, I miss you too. And then we won't talk for six months. And then I'll re repeat, I miss you, I love you, I want to see you again. <laughs> uh, do you go out of your way to attend others' needs? Yeah. All the time. Uh, when your family members get sloppy, do you ch chastise, chastise them? Yeah. <laughs> like my parents drinking when I was a kid. And then like my parents drinking and having a party. Okay, so yeah. So if my parents are drinking and having a party and I'm in high school and I go out there and I'm like, You guys stop drinking. It's Wednesday. I have a test. I would say yes to this question, right? Like I'm not going to like, I'm not going to be harsh and like scream at them. But I'm going to be like, you guys... You do be doing needs. Except the question asked you if you had trouble with social obligations. Ooh. It's, oh, it said I had, do I have trouble with, I read it wrong. So I'm saying yes, you had trouble. Man, this is why I'm not good at test taking. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh-oh, crap. Yeah, my parents call me a buzzkill. Peer pressure can be a social obligation and sir, oh. I don't fall into peer pressure. I'm very stubborn. Like, if my... If my friends are like, we're gonna do this dumb thing. Like, if my friends... Like, in high school, when my friends would be like, we're gonna go take spray cans and, like, paint this out of the truck. I'm like, nope. I am not being a part of that shenanigans. Good luck, guys. Bye. <laughs> like, I don't fall into peer pressure. I'm the exact opposite. As soon, as soon as something is, like, not good, I'm like... Yeah, I'm not gonna hang out with you guys for this. You have fun with that. Goodbye. <laughs> like, I'm still gonna be their friends. I'm not gonna be like, I'm not hanging out with you anymore. But I'm not gonna hang out with you while you're doing illegal stuff. I'll hang out with you after. <laughs> I, um, I've always done that. Like, even my friends, they have tried to get me to swear my whole life. I will not swear. I'm so stubborn about it. They'll be like, oh, we'll give you 10 bucks. We'll give you 100 bucks. I'm like, uh, if you give me a million dollars, I still won't swear. I'm stubborn. <laughs> I can be stubborn with certain things. You're not going to be hanging out with them when they're in a jail cell. That's true. That's true. It's happened to a few of my friends, actually. They uh, went to jail. I would write them letters. I actually sent my friend memes in jail. Because my friend, he went to jail um, for like three years or something. And uh, I felt really bad because I would always send him memes on like Facebook Messenger. And I kept sending him memes even though he was in jail. And then after I got a call on my phone that's saying like this inmate wants to talk to you. I, um, I, I answered the phone. I talked to him and he was like telling me how he missed memes. So I printed them out. I printed out all the memes I had sent him. I put it in an envelope and I sent it to him in prison so he can enjoy. <laughs> he said he told me afterwards that he nailed those memes up to his like wall and you just laugh at him every day. <laughs> Uh, when your family member gets sloppy, do I chastise? Ch Why can't I say that word? I don't know. I, I don't know how I should answer this. Because it's like, if my parents' rooms or my siblings' rooms are messy, I don't care. They can do whatever they want. I'll just say no. Because I, I feel like sloppy is more like messy room, right? So like, if they're messy, I won't... Uh, maybe yes? Because I would probably be like, hey, can you please pick up after yourself i would probably mention if it got super bad but it's never gotten that bad because my stepdad has ocd um and he he can't go like he can't go to sleep unless he's cleaned the whole house and did the dishes and stuff so my my house has never really been messy 
<laughs> would you swear if it would save someone's life? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to think I wouldn't be in that situation. Yeah, probably. If I had to save a life. I'll say yes, I guess. I don't know what to do. Do the ends justify the means? No. I don't think so. Because, like, do the ends justify the means? I don't think so. Like, if, uh... Like, if I'm gonna make a hundred thousand dollars, but I have to do something illegal or bad or dishonest or n not ungenuine, then I'm not doing it. I'd rather make five bucks. <laughs> Oh, but you had to swear to save a life. I don't know. That's extreme. That's probably the only time, I think. Okay, you're working on something important, but your friend is swamped with assignments. Do you put in your project on the back burner and help them? Yes, I'll help them first. I can manage. I think. I think I can. Do you like to give presents that can be kept as mementos rather than practical gifts? I like giving both. I'll just say yes. I like doing both. But also mementos. When... I give my friend like Illa a necklace or earrings and she wears them every day. I'm so happy when my friends, when my friends like, so these earrings right here, I wear these earrings every single day of my life. These earrings, my friend Anastasia gave to me. She gave them to me for my birthday, like four or five years ago. I'm, I don't take them out. I keep them forever. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for the follow. I don't even dare buying other earrings anymore because these earrings mean so much to me these earrings mean more than like million dollar earrings do you put high value on your individuality not so much when somebody oh <gasps> okay when something good happens do you six do you suspect that there's a catch no no i think Good things can just happen sometimes. Abdul, I think I've got it. Your stand is... Sonic Youth? Okay, okay, let's see. Sonic Youth, let's see. You speak a little bit of Japanese? Neko wa doko desu ka? Actually, I, I think... Uh, I love... I love saying Neko wa doko desu ka in Korean, because it's... Goyongi wa deo! I love it. <laughs> You did not expect this stand. I didn't either. Sonic Youth average speed. Um, or sorry, range is average. Class speed type. A humanoid stand that can manipulate sound depending on the melody. I'm a bard. I got a bard stand. This is honestly me. This is me. I've always played bards in in like what uh. In like D&D, when I play d and I've always played a bard. This is me. It can create powerful shockwaves, sharp air blades. That's so cool. In addition, it can use hypno hypnosis to induce various effects on opponents and allies alike. As for your personality, to as for your personality type, you are a methodical person who doesn't like to leave a job undone, but you're also very excitable and cheerful, family oriented. You are un unguarded and immediately open, and you immediately open up to people around you. You're friendly and have a great sense of humor. <gasps> it says I have a great sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you. You take pride in your strong sense of right and wrong. You're easily touched by the sentimental <laughs> and are sometimes taking, taken in by sob stories. Oh, shoot. It does this sound like me, you guys? And before I forget, would you mind telling me your name? Ah, uh, yes. It's Atara. Chonun Atara yo. Actually, Chonun Atara. Atara la go heyo. Chonun Atara la go heyo. Man, I forgot how to say that for a second. Cha. Wait. Wait. There's lowercase. Hold on. I don't want to be screaming my name all the time. Oh, is there no backspace? Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, it looks like I'm screaming my, my name. Ah, uh, ta-da! A Terra. A uh, Terra! Bitey. 
<laughs> just screaming my name. I know a little Japanese because some words in Korean and Japanese are the same. So, for example, uh, dotakimasu means to arrive. In Korean, um, it's the same base word, but Koreans have a different suffix uh, for their verbiage. So, basically, if you were to say dotakimasu in Japanese, in Korean it'd be dochakeo. Dochakeo. So, it's dochak. Same base word, dochak, means to arrive. But in Japanese, dotakimas, and then Korean, dotakyo. Uh, do you have a nickname? Uh, yeah, my nickname is Terra. Sometimes people call me Terra. Terra, Terra, Terra. Root, 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 root. Terra, Terra, Terra. Root, root, root. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a lady. Which of these most closely matches your appearance? What? Why does that one look like me? Wait, which is... Which is the one? Wait, I can't tell. Okay, so the short one? Which one's distinctive and which one's average? Which is the blonde one that looks like me? <laughs> How do I pick the blonde one that looks like me? <laughs> oh! I see. So this is how you look. Here's a close-up. That actually looks like me. That's so crazy. This game... This game is crazy. How does this sound? <laughs> I'm a Terra, but my friends call me Terra. I'm a 7 stand user. And don't you forget it. Hm. Guess my catchphrase is... 